I have 7 tips to make your Distant Horizons game look amazing. Minecraft's Distant Horizons mod adds epic render distances to your game, but if you're not careful, it can look like trash. These are tips I have learned from experience, and I am saving my favorite tip for last. Now you might be thinking, is my computer fast enough to run Distant Horizons? Well, that takes us to tip 1. Distant Horizons does not degrade your performance, well, by much. Make sure to lower your vanilla render distance to about 8 to 12 chunks. Distant Horizons will render whatever is above your vanilla render distance. If this is too high, you could see chunk rendering gaps. Tip number two, bump up your memory for your Minecraft by one to two gigabytes. Now that you know you can run it, how do you get those massive render distances? Starting with single player, tip three, leave the game running to load your chunks. It can take minutes or even hours if you want to load a lot of chunks, but then it's worth it. You'll end up having this saved locally in your world file. That's great. But can you use Distant Horizons with multiplayer? Tip four. Yes, of course you can. What you want to do is install the mod or the plugin Distant Horizons for your server. Once you do that, the chunks will be available to be sent to you from the server and you won't have to load them yourself. Well, if you don't have the mod installed on the server because you don't have access or you just don't want to, all you need to do is fly around and load it. What I suggest, get yourself a Riptide Trident and wait till it rains. How do you really get the best look from Distant Horizons? The first and obvious one to most people is shaders. Recent versions of Distant Horizons support shaders and man, do they look good. What I recommend are complimentary unbound, photon, Iteration and Bliss. These are my favorite shaders with Distant Horizons. All right, you've waited till the very end. The last tip, the one that I love, is adjust your fog settings. First, we're going to video settings to turn off the menu background blur. This, if on, makes it impossible to see the changes. But turn that off. If you don't see it, go to accessibility settings. Then go to Distant Horizons, advanced options, and then graphics and fog. You're going to want to adjust them to look something like this. You can play with these values a little bit and what you'll end up getting is this amazing look where there are silhouettes of things in the far distance so you don't actually have to look at the ugly levels of detail in the far distance but you do get a sense that there is something there and it feels almost like pure vanilla because you get such great fog. If you like this last tip and you want to see more of it, I have a whole series on Grumblecraft. It's a survival multiplayer, and I use these settings. So if you're looking for something to watch next, check out my Grumblecraft Season 2 playlist right here.